Dear students, in this question it is given that an electron microscope uses electrons accelerated by a voltage of 50 kV. Determine the de Broglie's wavelength associated with the electrons. Now this is the first part. The second part says that taking other factors such as numerical aperture etc to be same, how does the res uh, resolving power of an electron microscope compare to that of an optical microscope which uses yellow light. So first let's calculate the de Broglie's wavelength. So we know that the formula that governs the de Broglie's wavelength is lambda is equals to h upon under root of 2 into mass of electron into the charge on electron into the volt uh, the volt uh, the voltage uh, the, by which the electrons have been accelerated so when we we know that this h is a constant the mass and the charge is a constant so when we calculate this value this comes out equal to 1.227 upon under root of the voltage nanometer now this value is in nanometer it's a very helpful uh, way to do a speedy calculation we can directly remember that it's equal to 1.227 uh, by under root of voltage in, uh, in nanometers so let's calculate this we are given with a voltage of 50 kil, uh, kilo volt which is nothing but 50 into 10 raised to the power 3 volt so let's calculate the wavelength that would be 1.227 upon root of 50 into 10 raised to the power 3 nanometer so we would get this value approximately equal to 5.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 nanometer now we have determined what is the de Broglie's wavelength now let's see uh, we already know that the lambda of yellow light is equals to 5.9 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 meters so there is a uh, factor difference of 10 raised to the power 5 between the two but before that let me tell you what is the resolving power of a microscope so we should know that the resolving power of the microscope is indirectly proportional to the wavelength because it is governed by this formula so if we say resolving power of a microscope so we can write that resolving power is equals to 2 mu sin theta by lambda so we can say r is inversely proportional to the wavelength of the radiation used now this is the wavelength of the radiation used so basically because we have come to this conclusion and we know both the wavelengths of yellow light and that of the radiation used so we can easily uh, justify here that the resolving power of electron microscope is about or approximately 10 raised to the power 5 times that of an optical microscope so what I mean to say is in practice this differences in other geometrical factors can change this comparison somewhat because we have been uh, told that to take some assumptions in the question that um, we can uh, take the other factors like numerical aperture to be same so basically we need to know that these are the two wavelengths and because of this this fundamental thing over here that resolving power is in indirectly proportional to the wavelength we can come to this conclusion that the resolving power of an electron microscope is about 10 raised to the power 5 times that of an optical microscope so that will be the answer to this uh, question